Hello everyone, friends. A new recap and I hope for your support. Enjoy your viewing. Destroyed buildings in the middle of the desert. A young man in chains is lying on the ground. What is this place? He thinks to himself. His purple eye opens in surprise. Buddy, don't look at the sky. And don't say that I didn't warn you about the temperature of 140 Fahrenheit and that it rises by several Fahrenheit every minute. Says the system. Looking straight ahead, in front of his eyes is a red window about danger. Oh, is someone frying meat? Oh, you're almost ready. The man starts to get up from the ground. Getting up from the ground at the man, burned all the skin on his back from the heat outside. I suggest adding some spices, so you will taste even tastier. Look, there's already a crust on the back. The man sweat drips from his face, his lips are dry from exhaustion of the body. Hey, can you hear me? The system asks the question. But the man thinks about himself without paying attention. How did I end up here? God, can you not think about everything at once? Too much data to analyze. The system is in shock. Time travel. Sitting in the middle of the desert and rubble, the man says. Then the system decides to tease him again and tells him. Why don't you save up some money and buy me a brand new processor and card? The man looks at the rubble and says to himself what is there. The system responds to him that this is a public toilet that is more than 700 years old. It is rare to find a place with a danger rating of three and a half stars. Although the toilets are no longer working, but the fallen of the average degree of mutation are always welcome guests. The analyzer focuses on some strange mutated animal and gives information about the creature. Information. The fallen of the average degree of mutation. The man thinks to himself. Average degree of mutation, fallen, danger rating. Are there any creatures hiding in this toilet? Looking at the ruins, the system says. Wow, how I like that road. There is not a single source of water for 100 kilometers, you will already fall off from dehydration halfway through. An updated version of the famous trisomy, and you have no right to refuse. A vulture flaps its wings near the skeleton's skull. And in that direction there is a jackpot at all. Two fallen ones are hiding just 1600 meters away from us. Looking the other way at the ruins, the system also continues to load our hero with information. You can try using the legendary tackle. Here they will be glad of a sudden dinner. Getting up from the ground and looking around, the man thought that if he gets information about everything that his gaze falls on? Some kind of time-traveling blessing? Since these three directions are too dangerous, it remains only. Not having finished speaking and looking in the other direction of the desert, the system interrupts him and says. Bingo. That's right, there is water there. As they say, if there is only one short answer among the three, choose it. The man did not pay attention to the interference in the form of a system that loaded him with huge information. Trying to get up, he leaned on his right hand. From the heat in this desert, his hand began to smoke. Standing up from the ground and looking down, the system begged to pay attention to it. The situation is as follows. Five girls are injured and can no longer use traditional skills. The man didn't care what the system said at all, he had a problem with much more conversations. He noticed handcuffs on his hands and was surprised. What? Handcuffs? Have I become a criminal in this life? Looking at the handcuffs and the digital inscription on them, the system began to speak. But this thing looks weird. At first glance, these are handcuffs. But in fact, people have long ceased to believe in it because the aristocrats of the fourth floor turned handcuffs into a means to spy on slaves. The man looked straight ahead and walked, behind him was a broken stop sign. But it's better not to try to take them off, now you need to find shelter, otherwise you'll just burn under the sun. The system spoke. The man was thinking to himself. Surveillance, it seems to me that I have fallen into a very strange world. There is also an emergency situation. A person can hold out for an hour at a temperature of almost 160 degrees Fahrenheit and 49 minutes at a temperature of almost 180 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't have much time, so I can only hope that there really is a water source on the road. That's just it. Here the man stopped and thought. Looking up with a strained gaze, he said. Surveillance. He stood all alone in the middle of a deserted road and looked up. At that moment, the aristocrats were sitting in a huge hall, and just at that moment our main character was being broadcast on a huge screen. A group of men started asking questions. And one of them said. Hey, what kind of deception is this? Why is he still alive? He has lasted for more than 10 minutes. A man in white glasses with rhinestones in a fur coat stood dissatisfied, there was a girl behind him, and pointed her finger towards the screen. Did he really walk through the blue door? She was talking. 
The girl with the pipe was standing on the top floor in a masquerade mask. She was also wearing a fur coat and she had pink hair. Aren't the blue zones the hottest? Why does he look so cheerful? The man with the green masquerade mask started screaming. I want to see how the fallen will eat people. Where are all the monsters? Looking at the screen where our main character was, he continued to scream. Surely the presenter couldn't have shoved a gifted person pretending to be a slave here? Damn, he seems absolutely calm. The man continued his way along the deserted road as if nothing had happened. 2996, 2997. He counted his every step. And he was talking to himself. The tower, people live in the tower. It is dangerous outside of it, and it is simply impossible to survive. 2998. Think. The man closed his eyes and plunged into darkness. In the dark, all the information he had received a few minutes earlier began to fly around him. No one has lived here for 700 years. The temperature is 140 degrees. A surveillance device. Tower. The average degree of mutation. Unfavorable environment. The aristocracy of the fourth floor. After these memories, he continued to think. Fallen monsters outside the tower. To know from the fourth floor, the tower has a clear hierarchy, and the higher the level, the higher the status. 2999. Shackles keep a record of how people survive outside the tower. Looking at the inscriptions, the man finally came to one general conclusion. So this is a gamble for survival. His shoes start sticking to the asphalt and he says. Ha. Huh. Interesting. 3000 seconds, 50 minutes, the temperature seems to have risen to 158 degrees Fahrenheit. Our hero has already reached some more or less residential area. I need to find some shade within a quarter of an hour, otherwise my efficiency will decrease significantly. Turning to the right, he saw something. Hmm? There was a hydrant in the middle of the road with water coming out of it. Oh, yes. Half of the honors for finding water should be awarded to the voiceover. What would you do without my instructions? The rules of survival outside the tower are simply outrageous, at this temperature they could put more points with water. The system spoke. Approaching the hydrant, the man moistened his hands and happily thought to himself. Great, it works. Walking away from the hydrant, he was surprised that it was almost 160 degrees Fahrenheit outside, and the water here is just icy. The system told him. This means that the water under the ground has not had time to heat up yet. Walking along the road, he reasoned in his head. In that case, I could go down to the sewer. The temperature should be lower there. Looking at the abandoned buildings, he continued. And since there is a water supply here, then the entrance must be somewhere nearby. Peering around the corner, he was sadly looking at something ahead of him. There was a broken manhole in front of him, the system told him. Great. You have found a favorite haunt of mice and cockroaches. You can no longer fry under the scorching sun. Opening the hatch with his right foot, the man continued to talk to himself. However, this is still only a temporary measure. No matter how lucky I am, I won't be able to last long in such conditions. Looking at the open manhole from top to bottom, the system told him, only go ahead. Continuing not to pay attention to the system, the man continued to think in his head. The only option to exit the game is to find a way to return to the tower. The system started taunting him again for his thoughts and said. Exactly. So what's so funny? Since they're betting on me. The man had a small grin on his face. The system did not mention whether the handcuffs could transmit sound, besides I do not know what language is spoken here. Pulling his hands up, he continued with a smile on his face. I have to be a good boy in the new world. The system interrupted him by saying. Hey, you're not. But before he could finish, the guy interrupted the system and said. I want to show that I'm not going to play by their rules. Showing offensive gestures to the camera. The system was shocked by his behavior. Oh my god she said. And the guy with a smile from ear to ear and standing in handcuffs, told them. Get it. His face was visible to all the aristocrats in the tower on the huge TV. People started to get indignant about him. What an arrogant slave. Is he definitely not gifted? A man in a black suit, throwing out a glass of wine, began to shout in discontent. He's just an actor. It's all state. On the floor below in the lobby, people were still discussing our main character and his act. Ha, huh, and it's even funny. I didn't think my bet could play. But this kid has lived for quite a long time. Ha. Huh. Someone started talking on the girl's phone. We, we guarantee his death. The product is absolutely definitely from the beggars of the lower floor. He definitely has no talents. The girl tensed and answered in a serious, superior voice. 
I hope I don't have to tell you what to do. Previous life. I was sitting on my ass against the wall while a group of Gopnik shouted. Holy shit. Why? Why didn't he even blink an eye? Does he really not feel pain? They looked at me with disgusting faces, and one of them had a brick in his hands. Demon. Simply. An insensitive demon. They kept talking while I looked at them from under my forehead. For some reason, I am different from other people. I stood at my father's grave while they whispered behind my back. Is he the old man's son? TC. The father died, and he didn't shed a tear, is he a person at all? Yes, even a dog has more feelings than he does. My name is Bai W. I work in the administrative department. Police Special Forces. Passing by the policeman's office, I heard. Have you heard that a serial murder case that had no leads for 10 years was solved in a week? Yes, this guy is really good at catching scumbags. Well, of course, only a freak can understand a freak. Ha 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 ha. They disgust me, but I didn't care, there were no emotions on my face. Until that day. A group of policemen surrounded the bandit and shouted. Drop your weapons, put your hands behind your head. The bandit also held a gun in his hands and also shouted. Get out of the way. A shot followed. Which hit right into me. A bullet pierced my heart. My eyes widened. At the moment of the shot, the police grabbed the bandit and began to knock him to the ground. I was already lying in a puddle of water from the rain, which did not end, and also in a puddle of my blood. Our time. I was sitting in the sewer, looking at the water. In the water I saw the reflection of my face from a previous life. Now I look completely different. Literally in the next second I saw my true face. Haha. <laughs> the face of a slave on the first floor of the tower deserves 9 points out of 10. The system was mocking. Unfair. Very unfair. I want to fence with you. She was talking. Not interested. I replied dismissively. Since you're gambling, you're supposed to be in control, right? I asked and got an answer from the system. Ah, then I suggest you, raise your hands and surrender to save your life, don't disgrace yourself. Suddenly I heard footsteps. There is a guest coming, you need to receive him properly. The system didn't let up. Hey. Are you going to walk on a knife's edge again? It's time to pack your bags and look for another house. I have a question. Suddenly I said, starting to walk forward. Will pretending to be afraid count? I turned to the system. This. Um. I'm just someone who's a little worried, why are you putting me in a predicament? I was getting closer and closer to the corner of the wall where the footsteps were coming from. A bloodthirsty smile appeared on my face. Come. I thought. Well, let's see. The system was also interested. Around the corner was a knight in light armor and a blue cloak. Wow. 755 talent level, steel general, accompanying force of the fourth stage of the second level. The strength of this guy. Hmm. Perhaps he is from the elite, with abilities comparable to General Pan Feng. The system gave me the information, and the knight has already looked out from around the corner. It's obvious that he will easily unscrew your head. She stated the fact and when the knight looked around the corner, he saw no one. I do not think so. It was in my head. Judging by the sound, I'm 10 meters away from him. But the sewers are winding and he can't get close, so it won't be easy to kill me. I tried to convince the system. Whatever, you're going to die soon anyway. She tried to explain to me. Oh, a little reminder, this man is very distrustful, with the old customs of cow cow. She said. Hello, friend, you finally come. My voice sounded, which attracted the knight's attention. He turned around, but he didn't see anyone behind him, and I continued. And this is the speed of a person with level 2 strength and the talent of a steel general? Are you using Indian time? The knight suddenly moved at a tremendous speed. Don't be so surprised. Are you curious how I know about your abilities? I asked. The knight stopped, apparently he became interested. You don't seriously think that some slave from the lower floor can last that long here, do you? Or do you really think this is a routine murder mission? I kept asking, and the knight took out a knife on his hand. Ha, you're all innocents. I laughed. The knight turned around and started walking somewhere. Oh, wait, wait. It's going to be a lot of fun in the gambling house right now. A lot of people want me to die, so the boss sent you to deal with me, but are you sure that's not part of their plan? An insignificant slave who was supposed to die outside the tower, but not only did he not die, he also mocked everyone, a good effect from this show, isn't it? Meanwhile, the boss sent you, poor thing, to kill me, everyone is just waiting for you to tear me apart. Suddenly the knight's eyes widened, but I continued. But you know what? 
In a real scenario, you won't tear me apart, but we'll stay here forever. Finally finished, I appeared around the corner. I put my hands up and started talking again. Well, I will step on your corpse and continue to mock these aristocrats. I pointed my finger up. At this time, the dealer will start a new game, and the players will become even crazier. So, are you ready to accept the last gift? And while I was asking this, a monster with a bunch of eyes appeared above us. The monster opened its mouth and began to drip saliva. The next moment I put my finger down. And at the same second, the monster flew forward. He flew past me that even my clothes started to develop in the wind. The monster wrapped its mouth around the night that he didn't even have time to react. A drop of blood got on my face, but there were no emotions. Stop. Stop. Ah, yeah. The knight shouted, but he no longer had a chance. Wonderful, my big boy. The system said as I watched the monster drag the knight into the water. Oh, it's a pity, there was clean water here. I looked down and saw that the water had turned red. Hey. I don't recommend thanking him personally. The system spoke. At this distance, you will attract this fallen, showing just a drop of negative emotions. She continued. Besides, you wanted to kill that guy lying in the water. Listening to what the system tells me, I answered. Forget it, I'm a positive boy, I can't cause negative emotions. Well, that's fine. His body has not cooled down yet, feel something, positive emotions will immediately appear. I took an incomprehensible object in my hand and began to examine it. Wow, it's black. Golden legend. The system was surprised. This is the return device that you wanted so much, just twist it, and you will get to wherever you want. The system informed me. I immediately started doing this and the system continued. The area has been explored by 4.5%. There are 35 fallen, fragments of the doomsday puzzle have not yet been received. My assessment. Work carelessly. But a beginner can survive only if he passes the level. The handcuffs from my hands fell into the water. I recommend that you forget about the rest for now and get out of here as soon as possible. Suddenly, the light from the device began to envelop me and I thought. Exploration of the area. The doomsday puzzle. I hope it will be more interesting in the tower. Suddenly I disappeared from my seat in a flash of yellow.